Remember Real Steel, that movie where Hugh Jackman fought with giant robots in the boxing ring? Well, wake up, because fiction just became reality. Unitree is about to live stream the world's first ever actual humanoid robot boxing match. They're calling it the Iron Fist King Awakening. And if their latest demo is anything to go by, this won't be some slow, clunky slap fight. We're talking dodge attempts, counter punches, and knockdowns, all powered by next-gen robotics. From motion-captured punches to knockout recovery, Unitree's G1 is redefining robot combat. With its DEX 5 hands and the G1 Mini speed, this boxing match could spark a new era of mechanical sports. The future of fighting is here. So, Unitree Robotics has officially thrown its hat into the ring with a groundbreaking announcement, the world's first live-streamed humanoid robot boxing match. Their recently released teaser gives us our first real look at what mechanical boxing might look like, showing their two $16,000 G1 robots squaring off in what appears to be a legitimate sparring session. But perhaps even more impressive is the additional footage of a human versus robot match, proving these machines are being designed to interact with human opponents in real combat scenarios. Dubbed Iron Fist King Awakening, this unprecedented event is scheduled to stream in just about a month, though Unitree remains tight-lipped about specific details. The burning question on everyone's mind, which models will actually enter the ring? The compact but nimble G1 stands at 4.3 feet tall, with an impressive 23 to 43 joint motors, depending on configuration, making it a prime candidate. But we can't rule out an appearance by Unitree's flagship H1 model either. Standing nearly 6 feet tall with more advanced computing power, it could bring a whole different level of intensity to the match. The G1 may not be ready for the flashy, over-the-top bouts we saw in Real Steel, but that's what makes this so exciting. We're witnessing the authentic birth of robot combat, no special effects, just real engineering. The G1 moves with all the grace of a rookie in their first sparring session. Reactions are delayed, balance is shaky, and there's a noticeable lack of fluidity in its movements. But here's what's truly remarkable. These machines can absorb real punches, hit the mat, and pick themselves back up to continue fighting. That capability alone represents a massive leap forward in robotics. Before we get on with the video, hit the like button to prove you're not a robot. So how exactly does the G1 throw hands? The secret lies in its sophisticated motion control system. Using LAFAN1 motion capture technology, Unitree has essentially taught these robots to box by translating human movements into mechanical actions. Every subtle shift in stance, every weight transfer during a punch, even the way a boxer rotates their hips, all these nuances are captured and replicated by the G1's complex network of up to 43 individual joint motors. The hardware breakdown is particularly fascinating. Each arm contains five motorized joints, while the legs pack six each, plus an additional rotational joint at the waist. This human-like articulation allows for surprisingly natural punching mechanics and footwork. But what really sets the G1 apart is its integrated force and position sensing system. These sensors work in tandem to ensure the robot doesn't only windmill its arms wildly. Each punch has calculated power behind it, and more importantly, the system helps the robot maintain stability after taking hits or when getting back up from a knockdown. Still, the limitations are impossible to ignore. In the demo footage, you can clearly see the G1's sluggish reaction time when attempting to dodge punches, and its strikes lack the snap and power of a trained human boxer. But let's put this in perspective. Boston Dynamics Atlas took years to progress from awkward walking to performing backflips. What we're seeing with Unitree's boxing demo represents just the opening bell in what will likely be a long evolution of combat robotics. As we wait for the main event, one can't help but wonder, what other surprises might Unitree have in store for their boxing debut? Because when these robots step into that ring next month, they won't just be fighting each other. They'll be fighting to prove robot boxing deserves a permanent place in the future of sports. Let's talk about the G1 Mini Beta, Unitree's compact powerhouse that might just be the most exciting robot you're not paying enough attention to. Recently, on the 16th of April 2025, Unitree's regional sales director Irving Chen gave us our first real look at the G1 Mini in beta testing through his YouTube channel, LinkedIn, and X accounts, and what we saw was surprisingly human. 
The footage shows this little bot running with a gait so natural it stopped me mid-scroll. We're talking proper coordinated limb movement, weight shifting, and recovery. The kind of fluid motion that makes you forget you're watching a machine. Some viewers immediately compared it to those slick NS5 robots from I, Robot Movie, and honestly, the comparison isn't crazy. In fact, here's why this matters beyond just looking cool. That running capability translates directly to better mobility across all their robots. If the Mini can move this smoothly at its size, imagine what this means for the full-size G1's potential. We're looking at future models that could navigate real-world environments with unprecedented agility. Think quick directional changes, rapid recovery from stumbles, and maybe even some extreme parkour moves down the line, considering their recent Kyo up and first robot side flip. One thing that this demonstration highlights for sure is Unitree's focus on foundational movement skills. They're not just programming specific actions, they're building robots that understand balance and momentum at a fundamental level. That's the kind of tech that doesn't just make for better boxing robots, but robots that can actually function in our spaces without constantly face planting. Now let's talk about the part where Unitree robots might literally start giving us a hand their new DEX5 Dexterous Hand. That's not another generic robotic gripper. It's one of the most advanced end effectors we've seen at this price point, and it changes what these machines are capable of. The specs tell part of the story. 20 degrees of freedom, with 16 active joints and four passive ones giving it that uncanny human-like articulation. But the magic is in the optional 94 touch points. That's 94 individual sensors letting the hand feel what it's touching. Watching it handle delicate objects is like seeing a musician's fingers at work, precise, adaptive, and responsive to feedback. This is something different. The way those fingers curl around a playing card with just enough pressure to hold it steady. Watch closely when it solves the Rubik's Cube, not turning faces only, but adjusting its grip mid-rotation like a human would. Or when it pours water without spilling, that's 20 degrees of freedom working together in real time. And those 94 tactile sensors? They're what let it shift from a firm handshake to gently picking up an orange without missing a beat. The back drivability is particularly clever. It means the hand can be manually positioned and responds naturally to external forces. Strength and precision are one thing, but the safe intuitive interaction, that's the kind of feature that makes human-robot collaboration truly viable. Interestingly, Seeing how these hands could pair with the mobility we saw in the G1 Mini Beta is a discussion on its own. A robot that can move through spaces and manipulate objects with this level of finesse. That's when we start talking about real-world utility beyond controlled demos. And when you combine these advances with what we're seeing elsewhere in robotics, well, let's just say the next few years are going to be very interesting. Look, if you've been following our channel, and let's face it, at this point we're basically Unitree's unofficial hype crew with how many G1 videos we've pumped out, you'll know these robot boxing matches are about way more than viral content. That kip-up recovery, the matrix-worthy side flips, even those kung fu moves that started out looking like a drunk panda but now look legit? They're all proving these bots can handle real-world chaos. Here's why this matters. Every time the G1 takes a punch and keeps coming, not to mention Kai Sinat, maybe don't bully the robot that's learning to fight back, it's stress-testing durability that could save lives in disaster zones. Those flips demonstrate balance algorithms that could stabilize robots carrying fragile medical supplies. And let's not forget, between bouts, this same hardware is mastering delicate tasks with those scary good DEX-5 hands. Yeah, robot combat ethics are worth discussing. But after documenting everything from the G1's awkward first dance moves to its current I will end you energy, one thing's clear. Unitree is building the most adaptable, and maybe soon the most intimidating, humanoid platform out there. Now if you'll excuse us, we'll be first in line for the G1's pay-per-view debut. What's your take? Is robot boxing the next big sport, or just an insane tech demo? Drop your predictions below especially if you think Kai Sinat stands a chance against Gen 2 of these bots. Smash subscribe if you want us breaking down that live stream the second it drops, and check the end screen for our full unit recoverage, from their first wobbly steps to these knockout punches. Stay awesome, and remember, the robots are watching.